Here's how to do a front brake job on a Toyota. We're going to replace the caliper, the rotor, and also the brake pads. I'm going to remove the wheel. This here is the brake caliper. I'm going to next remove two 14 millimeter sliding bolts that hold the caliper on. Remove the caliper here. Slide it right off of the brake pads and then use this wire to hold it up along the strut. Now the caliper is out of the way, you can proceed to remove the caliper bracket by removing two 17 millimeter bolts from the top and the bottom here. Here's the caliper bracket removed from the car. You can then proceed to remove the pads from the bracket and replace those. As a rule of thumb, when the thickness of the material is equal to the thickness of the backing plate on the brake pad, it's about time to replace the brake pad. In my case, I'm actually going to be replacing the caliper with one from a third generation Camry V6 with ABS. It's got two pistons and the surface area of the pad is a lot bigger. Remove the rotor. I'm going to use a little bit of sandpaper and wire brush to clean up these, these pads and also the calipers right here. I'm going to use a little bit of brake cleaner here to clean up this pad. The next thing that needs to be clean are these brake pad clips that go into the caliper bracket. It would be a good idea to use a wire brush and some brake cleaner and clean that up. Also a good idea to clean up the inside of the caliper bracket here. I'm going to put a little bit of anti-seize here and then reinstall the brake pad clips on the caliper. Next we need to pull out the slider pin from the caliper bracket and then clean this up and put it back. Now that the pin is all cleaned up, I'm just going to apply a little bit of brake lubricant on the pin and then reinstall the pin into the caliper bracket. Make sure it slides freely and repeat for the other side. If you're not replacing rotors like me, it might be a good idea to take some sandpaper and lightly sand the surface of the rotor to remove any deposits from the brake pad. I'm just going to use a little bit of brake cleaner to clean up this rotor. Next, I'm going to reinstall the brake rotor. This is important if you're installing new pads. You need to compress the pistons on the caliper. So I'm going to use a C-clamp and an old brake pad to push it in. I'm just going to apply some anti-seize where the brake pads are going to sit in the caliper bracket. Next I'm going to reinstall the caliper bracket onto the steering knuckle. I've already put some anti-seize on these 17 millimeter bolts. I'm just going to thread that in. I'm just going to tighten up the two 17 millimeter bolts for the caliper bracket. I'm going to apply a thin layer of brake loop to the back of the brake pad and also to the shims. I'm also going to apply a little bit of brake loop to the pistons and the inside of the caliper to reduce the chance of squealing. Next I'm going to reinstall the brake pad. I've already got the shims installed in the back. Just clips right in. Install the other brake pad. One more thing is that these wire clips, I'm going to put them against the brake pad in these holes here to help it spread apart. Next I'm going to replace the brake caliper onto the caliper bracket and then reinstall the two 14 millimeter bolts. Next we need to transfer the brake line from the old caliper to the new one. 14 millimeter banjo bolt. I'm going to be reusing the banjo bolt from the Camry calipers. Make sure that there is a washer, a copper washer at the back here, and also one that goes in front of the connection. And then install that. Tighten that up. 
gonna use a little bit of brake cleaner to clean up some of the brake fluid that spilled here. I got my bleed hose here hooked up to the bleeder screw, which is attached to my bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and bleed the brakes. I'm gonna open the bleeder and let some air out. Finally, we'll just give everything one last clean. I'm gonna replace the wheel. Finally, we're going to take the vehicle for a test drive to allow the pads to bed into the rotors. We're going to do this by slowing down a few times, not to a complete stop, to allow the pads to coat the rotors, preventing vibration. <laughs> 